हेलो गाइस दिस इज भूपेंद्र सिंह एंड यू आर वाचिंग आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एस एम इधर टुडे आई विल टेल यू हाउ यू कैन कंट्रोल द स्पीड ऑफ डीसी मोटर यूजिंग एल टू नाइन मोटर ड्राइवर एंड पोटेंशियोमीटर इन प्रोग्रेस सो टू डिजाइन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी नीड द फॉलोइंग कंपोनेंट्स आर्डिनो ओनो पोटेंशियोमीटर डीसी मोटर एंड एल टू मोटर ड्राइवर In the beginning, we make the connection in the Proteus. Open the Proteus Professional software. I have Proteus version seven. Link is available in the video description. You can download Proteus software from that link. First, click on the component mode, and then click on the P. Here, you can search for Arduino, or you can also search here only Uno. As you can see, I have got the list of all Arduino that is available in my Proteus library. And guys, if you don't have Arduino in Proteus, then link is available in the video description that will guide you how you can install the Arduino library in Proteus. Now, double click on Arduino Uno R3. It has been added to the Proteus template. Now, search for L293D and add it to the template. After it, search for motor, add the active DC motor. And last, search for port dash HG. Means we are searching here for potentiometer. Add this to the dashboard and click on OK button to back to the dashboard. Now click on the Arduino Uno and place it to the dashboard. Now place port on the dashboard. We need to add 5 volt VCC and ground to the potentiometer. So click on the terminal mode and pick and place the power and ground in the dashboard. Now connect the ground and power to the potentiometer. We change the potentiometer value to 10k and mention the power as plus 5 volt DC. Now we connect potentiometer output pin to the A0 pin of Arduino. Uno. Place L293D and DC motor to the dashboard. Place power to two place in the dashboard as we need to attach it in 8 and 16 number pin of L293D. Now place ground to the dashboard and attach it with both ground pins of L293D. Now attach 16 number pin and 8 number pin to power. Define this power as 5 volt and this one as 12. Attach two number and seven number pin of L293D to 13 number and 12 number pin of Arduino. Connect one number pin of L293D to nine number pin of Arduino. Nine number is PWM pin and we are controlling the speed of DC motor from this pin. Now we are connecting the three and six number pins to DC motor. So this is the complete circuit diagram. You can also download it from the video description. Now open the Arduino IDE. In the top, we take integer type variables as M1, M2, and EN, and put 13 to M1, 12 to M2, and 9 to EN variable. We define the port as integer type variable and put A0 in it. We take ST as 0 to store the potentiometer value. In the setup function, we define the M1, M2, and EN to output as we are controlling the DC motor through them. In the loop function, we analog read the port and store it to the ST variable. We write that ST value to EN by using analog write command. This is the PWM value that we receive from the potentiometer, and we write that value to the PWM pin of Arduino Uno, and it will control the speed of DC motor. Now we provide high to the M1 and low to the M2 so that motor can rotate in one direction. And I forget to divide the potentiometer value by four, as its value varies between 0 to 1023, and our PWM value varies between 0 to 255. Okay, you can download this program from the link that is available in the video description. Now compile this program, and it's done. Now we search the program path of the Arduino output file. So we just scroll and we go to the hex file path like this. So copy this path and go to the Proteus design. Double click on the Arduino and put this path here in front of program file. This means we have write the program to Arduino. Now click on the play button. As you can see, motor is rotating. As I am decreasing the value of port, or you can say we are rotating the port to one direction. Our motor speed going to slow down. And At the zero level, motor has been stopped. Now I am increasing the port value, and motor speed is increasing as you can see. And at the last, it's in full speed. So guys, this is how you can control the speed of DC motor using Arduino. 
same programming code you can use to control the speed of 12 volt DC motor or your robot or any DC fan etc. If you make it in real time hardware then it will work same as per this simulation. You can download the circuit diagram with the real time hardware from the video description. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and videos. Stay tuned for more innovative videos.